Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you um, exactly what I currently have in my crochet library. Um, I don't have as many as um, I used to have. Um, I've moved quite a few times and unfortunately sometimes when moving um, some things get thrown away accidentally and sometimes things get thrown away when I get so frustrated that I just don't care and I throw boxes out just to throw boxes away. So the last time we moved, um, some of you may be horrified by this, but last time we moved, I kind of chucked a bunch of yarn, a bunch of hooks, and I think there might have been a couple books in there. I just chucked it. I just, I, there were half started projects that I was never going to finish. I, it just really was taking up room um, in my closet that I like hadn't looked at in about a year. Um, I didn't know where I was going to put it in the new house. So I just, I chucked it. <laughs> so anyway. Unfortunately, I think a few of my books got chucked. Um, so, at least that's what happened last move. I know the move before that, I think I lost a book somewhere, and it wasn't intentional. I just, I don't even know what happened. But, yeah. Anyway, so let's take a look at what I currently have. So, the first one, um, I showed on my live the other night because I was crocheting a pattern from this book. I bought it at, I don't know if I went to Michael's or Walmart. Um, this was bought last year when I went um, up to Sacramento with my husband. Um, he was having surgery and he was in all day. It was just a day thing, but he was in all day and I decided since I couldn't sit in the hospital and wait for him, because um, of COVID, I would go hang out somewhere in my car and crochet. So I went and bought some yarn and uh, and a pattern book. So um, this is Learn to Crochet Ripple Afghans. Uh, crochet designs for baby and home. So let's see what we have in here. Obviously, they're paid for patterns, so I can't show you the patterns themselves, or, you know, the step-by-step, -step. but, so here's this one. Um, I'm not a big fan of brown, in general, but that is a pretty afghan. I could, I could see doing that with another color, um, so, I may try the pattern, but with different colors. This looks pretty. Here's this one. This is a small book, so I'll show you what's all in here. There's other books that I'm not gonna go through each pattern, but this one I find very pretty. It's got little flowers on the on the blanket. kind of cute. I think I passed the one I'm actually doing because I don't remember being this far in the book. I have to go back. That one's cute. That's the one on the cover. This book is from uh, Leisure Arts. Oh goodness. There's an American a uh, colored one. Let me just do it this way. Let's see. I think, yeah, that's it. Let me find the one I'm working on. There we go. This is the one I'm currently working on. Um, I did not like the, the dark blue. So I just bought light blue and white 
And so I don't have three colors in mine, I just have two. So, I think I'm on row 40 or 50-ish of, I think it said to do 90 rows of this. Yeah, 90 rows, I think I'm on 40 or 50. So, this is a cute little, little one. Um, this was only, I don't know, there's no price tag. Probably five dollars or less. But uh, good value, I think. So, there's that. Then there is um, the Crochet Stitch Dictionary. This is fairly new to me. Um, new to me, not a new book. Um, I bought this when I bought the book that I gave away in March. So, I don't know everything about crochet. I don't think, well, there might be someone that knows everything about crochet. But I don't know everything about crochet, even though I've been crocheting for 30 years. Um, so, I thought this would be good for me to learn some new stitches. And so in this stitch dictionary, here is the table of contents. There's a lot of stitch, stitches and patterns that I can learn. I'm all cutting off the top of my head in half this video. That's all right. So I'm excited to just try some of these when I have some free time. So that was the table of contents, but uh, it's got, let's see, we'll just go here, let's see. It's got step-by-step -step picture instructions. It's got step-by-step -step word um, written pattern. It's also got the diagram pattern. And then it shows you what it looks like. This is the uh, caterpillar stripe. So I like that, that it's got, you know, you can see the pictures of what they expect you to do. You've got the written, and then I don't read diagrams really, but for those that do, um, You have that too. So, um, I need to learn some new stitches. This is one that my husband bought me um, for Christmas. This is the Fairy Tale Blanket to Crochet Book. Um, we've got, let's see what we got in here. You can make, let's see, here we have a deer, a polar bear, and a lion. We'll find some better pictures, but they, so the contents um, include a polar bear, prince or princess, a wolf, I don't know if you can read that, um, little red riding hood, a deer, festive elf for Christmas, a fish, a lion, a unicorn and a dragon. So here's the back cover. There's the unicorn and a prince, or you could do pink for princess. Um, they're kind of like snuggy, I guess snuggy blankets. They've got, um, I guess not snuggies, they don't envelop your arms per se. Thanks. Um, you can put your, they've got little pockets for your hands. So here's some more pictures. I think I'm going to make my daughter the unicorn one at some point this year. The body of the blankets, I believe, are all corner to corner crochet. And then the different patterns are, you know, the edging or the ears or whatever you put around it. So here's 
one of them laid out. This is the dragon. So this is the inside, and then this is what's along the back. So. Then we have the book that came with my Harry Potter Amigurumi kit. Um, the kit came with the yarn and materials to make Harry and Dobby, um, but the pattern book has Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, uh, Student Robe and Scarf, Dobby the House Elf, Rubius Hagrid, Norbert the Dragon, Albus Dumbledore, Minerva McGonagall, The Sorting Hat, Voldemort, Severus Snape, Ginny Weasley, and Hedwig. So those are all the projects that um, come in the Harry Potter one. Here's Harry. I have yet to try an amigurumi. So um, I put a video up regarding um, the two amigurumi kits that I got, one for Christmas and one for Valentine's Day, and I asked you guys which one I should do first, and if, I, if I'm if i remembering right, I can go back and look, I think Yoda won, is that Yoda? That's Yoda. Yoda won, so sometime in the near future, uh, when I'm taking a break from my graph cans, I will, um, crochet Yoda. I think I want to get that baby blanket done though, the ripple baby blanket before I do another side project. Okay, so we've got Voldemort and Dumbledore. Here's Hagrid. So, alright, so like I said, I think Yoda won. So I got a Star Wars kit, Amigurumi kit as well, and um, the materials that come in the kit are materials to make Yoda. However, you can also make a Stormtrooper, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Chewbacca, or Han Solo. Can't make Vader? Anyway. Uh, so here's Han and Leia. Here's the Stormtrooper. Um, here's Han and Chewie. So, but uh, like I said, Yoda won. The, uh, the voting, so at some point I will make Yoda. So, let's see, what else do we have here? We have the uh, one and only Knit Crate box I got. So I have the patterns that I got in that Knit Crate. Um, I don't knit, so the knitting patterns are not helpful to me. But, um, this is a knitting pattern, but it's a mitts and a scarf. Here are some crochet um, arm warmers. Um, here's what they look like on the other side. We have some knitted socks. Again, I have no desire to learn how to knit. So, those patterns will go unused. But then here's some crochet socks. So, there's this these four patterns in here. Um I have another leisure arts book. Uh, more baby afghans. 
Let's see if there's anything in here that I've made. I don't think so. I'll show you a couple in here that I happen to like. Actually, I lied. I have made this one. This was, uh, I made it just like this for a Christmas present for my a family member's baby. We'll put it that way. It's complicated if you get into the logistics of it. But they really liked that blanket. Uh, what else is in here? I haven't made this, but this is pretty. I did make this, but I made it in different colors. I think I made it in greens and blues. Um, that's what the my friend wanted. You know, now that I think about it, this pattern looks familiar, but I don't know if this was the exact one, but that looks familiar. It looks like I might have made that because I remember, um, I remember that one for some reason. Anything else? I've made this before, so not as a baby blanket. But this pattern with the spider web, spider boxes, spider webs, I made it as a large afghan. Anyway, let's see one more. This is pretty. Little motifs. Flower motifs. And they end up as a, I guess you place them and it ends up as a big hexagon. So those are a few baby blankets out of this book. Um, this is the last Halloween magazine, uh, 2020, from Annie's. I attempted the pumpkin. I don't know. I used the hook they said to use. I used the thread they said to use. And I got like a few rounds. And it just looked really small, like... It didn't look like it was, I don't know, it didn't look like I thought it should look, so I gave up. <laughs> um, here are some graph pillows in here. Um, I haven't tried them. Here is also one of those bobble blankets. Um, what was the other thing I attempted in here? Oh, look, they have little, oh, it's a bowling set. That's kind of cute. Little amigurumi uh, thing, and then I guess you roll the pumpkin at the characters to knock them down. I'm assuming that's how you play this, but it's a game. Where's the... Oh, here's all the patterns in here. So this is one I attempted for a second too. It's filet crochet. It's a table runner. Let's see if I can, can see this. So it's like it's supposed to be a cat and a pumpkin and some bats um, on both sides. So I got a few rows in. I've never done filet crochet before. And so I put it aside. So, kind of with me is if I try something new and it doesn't work out the first time, I get frustrated and I put it down. Usually I'll go back to it and like after I've had time to think about it and maybe even have to watch a tutorial video um, or have someone explain it to me, then it clicks. Um, I was like that in school too, like with math specifically. Like I wouldn't get it. I just And then I would get upset about it. I'd put it aside. And then, like, an hour or two later, because I had to come back to it, I had to do my homework. Um, it was almost like, oh, I get it now. Or I'd have to call my friend and be like, you need to walk me through this. 
And it's like, after she explained it to me, it was like, oh, okay. So, yeah. All right, so we have this book I've had for a while. See, it's a little well, I don't know, loved is the right word. A little well used. Um, yeah. So let's see what I've made in here. Where's my... Okay, well, I can definitely say I've made this blanket. I've made probably about almost ten of these. Um, yeah. So I've made the American flag, most definitely. Here's a couple other uh, Afghans in this book. I have not made other one of those. Oops. Let's see. Oh, this is cute. Daisy baby blanket. Um... So the sunflower one would be pretty too. Here's some more. Okay, those are all, yeah. Oh, so I bought the crochet hook, the special crochet hook to make this. And this is one of those things where I attempted and for some reason I wasn't understanding and I put it aside. Eventually, I will try this again because I like this. However, instead of doing cross stitch, so on these ones you make this, on this one, you make the square and then you cross stitch the design onto it. But I think I might just use the pattern like as if I was doing a graph gan and maybe make them that way. So a little way around that. Um here's this one. Best loved Afghans from Red Heart. Okay, I have made this one, except mine I didn't put the fringe on. I don't like fringe, but I've made that one. I don't know if I've made anything else in here. Let's see if there's any others that catch my eye that I want to show. I like the colors in this one, the purple, the blue, and the black. That might be one I might make one day. It's called Black Light Beauty. I've had this book for a while. I've had most of these books. Well, not most. I've had this one and the last one you saw for the longest, I think. Here's this one. I don't know if I'll ever attempt this one. But that looks pretty. It's got the trees. And the deer, reindeer, I think. Reindeer or deer? Reindeer. Reindeer forest, it's called. I think this one's kind of cute. And then here's this one with some hot air balloons. Okay, I mean, there's there's a lot more in here, but that's just a few of them out of that one. And then the last one I bought rather recently is uh, Crocheting for Dummies. And I bought this when I started my channel back in September. Because I know how to crochet. Basics, anyway. But, okay. So I bought this when I started my channel. Um, like I said, I know how to crochet. But, 
I started my channel as a how-to for beginner crocheters and I wanted more like I mean I wasn't gonna like literally copy this book step by step but I wanted I, video ideas I guess on what I should on what tutorials I should be doing um, I mean I wasn't gonna like do the patterns but like I wasn't gonna come on here and like show the exact patterns for these projects but um, you know what stitches I should teach um, information things like that so that's why I bought it but honestly it's been helpful in general so crocheting for dummies so that's all the books I have on hand right now um, there are two that I really really want so one of them is called and I had them that's the thing I had them one of them is called 200 blocks to crochet or something like that and on the cover it's a white background I want to say the writing of the book is either in blue or green and then there's like green squares on the front there's like so many squares in that book to crochet they're so cool I, I think that might have been one of the books that just got chucked it sucks um, and then another one has the now the reason I want this is more nostalgia than anything um, like I said my grandma taught me how to crochet and one of the books she had she gave to me and it got lost somewhere I mean she gave it to me when I was still a kid like I think as a teenager so anyway it got lost I found it again um, when she gave it to me it was a hardback when I found it again, it was more like, you know, this. It was thick like this. Um, I don't remember if it was Leisure Arts. I have no clue. But the one pattern, so it was, there was a picture of an afghan on there, obviously. But, like, the border of the book was pink. I'm, I guess I'm explaining it to you because if anyone has the title of the book or knows what it is, could, like let me know because I want it again um and one of the patterns in there like I, I remember it because I made it is just like the baby pattern with the spider web blocks um but it's like a full-size afghan I know that's so generic I'm sure no one will know what I'm talking about but anyway it's an older book what I don't know is if she had it when I she originally taught me to crochet, which would have been 91, 92. Um, or if she bought it later, and then on one of my visits back to see her, if she just said I could have it. I don't know. But the book is from the 90s. That's all I know. It's from the 90s. Um, now whether it's early 90s or late 90s, I can't tell you. Um, so. Anyway, so those are all the books that I currently have. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and checking out my crochet library. Um, if you like this video, if you want to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Alright, thanks everyone. Have a good night.